Shalom. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, one Eknod al Akyam, who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. <clears throat> Through the Spirit, I'm in uh, Matthew 2, and I'm just going to go ahead and start at the top. It says, Now when Yahawashai was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. All right, so, <clears throat> you know, when uh, a lot of these Christians or Catholics talk about this uh, event, they they'd always say, oh, there were three wise men. But the scriptures don't mention just three wise men. It says there came wise men because there was a bunch of wise men that came from the east to Jerusalem to uh, witness uh, the, you know, Yahweh Shai, okay, as an as a infant, as a baby. Verse 2, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. All right, and I also want to clarify the star in the east it wasn't actually an actual star. It was actually a chariot. Okay. Let's keep reading. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Right. Because he, <laughs> just like now, if Biden, you know, if he was briefed and, and told, hey, there was a, what you call a UFO, uh, you know, spotted a, uh, you know, in uh, around the uh, military base of uh, Babylon, America, Biden would freak out, right? That would trouble him. It wouldn't just be a star in the east that would trouble him. No, because they, they, they give the proper understanding, the proper breakdown. And saw in Herod, hey, it was a chariot. And it was right above, you know, these wise men came to see this, this child who was to be born. Right? And actually let me let me grab this real quick. <clears throat> let's see. Let, let's go to Isaiah, because this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Isaiah eleven and ten it says And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. All right? Talking about Yahweh Shai, he was that ensign of the people. And the root of Jesse, because if you look into the genealogy, Matthew, I'm going to just, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this is, it says, the book of the generation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And he goes through all the names I'm going to concentrate at 6, Matthew 1 and 6. It says, And Jesse begat David the king, and the David the king begat Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias. All right, so so on and so forth. All the way down, you have 16, Matthew 1 and 16. And Jacob begat Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Shai, who is called Hamashiach, right? So, Yahweh Shai was he was that that um, seed of Jesse, right? And I just got an eleven ten or stem root, and eleven and ten Isaiah. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people, and it shall the Gentiles seek and rest shall be glorious. All right, so when you go down the genealogy of Yahweh Shai, one of his forefathers was Jesse, all right? And again, there were many wise men, and what brought them and what, what guided them to, to Yahweh Shai was that star in the east, which was indeed a chariot. It wasn't a star. And as we read here a little bit more in Matthew 2, let's go, it makes more sense. Verse 4, And when he had gathered all the chief priests 
Okay, so Herod was troubled. And then it says, And when he had gathered, gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where the Mashiach should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem unto in, of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah art not the last among, or I'm sorry, not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. So you gotta ask yourself, if he's saying what time a star appeared, it, it, but you could tell it wasn't a star. Because it, it, if a sun, if it, if the sun goes down, and you can see the stars at night. You're you're not that star's going to be there all night. It's not going to just be pop up, and then he's not going to be like, oh, what time was the star, you know, appeared? Like we're reading here, he's talking about a chariot. All right. And Herod knew it was a chariot, what you call a UFO. He knew it wasn't no star. Verse 8, And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. Which he's he, he's actually an Edomite. Herod, is a, he was a tear in history. So he would have looked like a so-called black man, but his father was indeed a, a so-called white man or an Edomite. Verse 9, when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. All right, so this thing is moving, the star, right? It says they saw it in the east. It went before them till it came and stood over the where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced and with exceeding great joy. So wise men would have been men of, of, of understanding, men of the truth, right? So when these wise men saw the star, they started, um, it says they were with great joy, exceeding great joy, and they were rejoicing. So that's the same thing we do when we see the chariots. The brothers who are in this truth, who would be today's wise men, we, we get all hyped up. We rejoice. We get great joy on us when we see these chariots. It's not going to happen just for a star, okay? Just a regular star in the sky. We're not going to sit there and, and and be exceedingly happy, right, and rejoicing. Verse uh, 11. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And they had opened their treasures. They presented him to him unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 